What is up guys, Andy Forrest here running here. Welcome back to another video in this Road to Recovery series. And today I'm taking you out on the long run. Welcome back to another video. I've already shed a layer. It is deceptively warm. <laughs> but uh, yeah, welcome back to another one. We're out here. I'm doing a long run. I don't use that term loosely. I've built up to an hour's run this week. So this weekend, I'm getting an hour done. Nice and relaxed, nice and easy. Current pace, around five minutes per K or eight minutes per mile. I'll finish slightly differently to that, depending on how I feel, but just nice and relaxed and uh, clearing a lot of this uh, head cold out as I go, which is nice, getting some fresh air. So, purposes today, give you guys an update. How has the week been? Last time you saw me, I did my first double run and that was uh, Monday and Tuesday. Since then, I've done Thursday, Friday, and now today. We're back wearing the Nova Blasts. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but yeah, just want to get out of here today and bank an hour, see how it feels. Uh, everything's been going touch wood pretty well this week, and I'm feeling almost like myself again, if I could just shift this cold. So, as I said, plan of attack, just like last episode, talk about those three things. How's the injury? What's the gear? What strength work have I been doing? And uh, yeah, catch you in a minute. got about four and a half miles in and uh, just got a little bit bored a little bit itchy to to be have a bit more freedom so as soon as the car feels good now and everything I thought god just just do what you want so I've upped it a gear and uh, I'm now running around moderate pace 646 per mile and I have a big smile on my face because this is something I've been dreaming of for the last four weeks and I feel like I've just really turned a corner. So <clears throat> four and a half miles easy, gonna then do three and a half moderate to make it eight. Uh, I'm just coming up to the last mile now and uh, yeah, just feeling so much better. So there we go, ended up ramping up that long run towards the end to finish just over eight miles in the hour. I am talking a little bit quieter because my lad is asleep upstairs, so bear with me. But week one or two, however you wanna look at it, first week, walk run, second week, full running, complete, 28 miles in the bag and feeling really, really good. Plus today, Sunday, we have a new arrival. The streak fly is here, cannot wait. That thing is going out for a test tomorrow embarking on a moderate run so going to take it with me going to do a shoot a shorter moderate run than i'd normally do obviously as i'm easing back in to full training but cannot wait to test it out walking around in the house it feels absolutely amazing but that's not what this video is about let's talk all about the calf the gear and what strength i've been doing keeping it clear and concise. So just quickly to wrap up today, as I said, it was over eight miles. I got about just over halfway in and I thought, I've been so cautious this week, testing it, keeping it around an easy pace, that I just thought, come on, let's let's just see what, what, what we've got in the tank and see how the calf handles it. I remember back last year coming back from a knee injury, which only kept me out for a few days. I felt very stiff and very kind of running easy paces all the time. 
and I felt like something needed to loosen up. I ended up doing the Rose Inn four mile fast race and that was the key. I just opened up the gate cycle and went for it, ran that race and after that my legs felt perfect again and I've kind of felt like that all week this week. Coming back I had no pain in the calf or anything, just a bit of tightness in the tib ant, the muscle that runs down the outside of the leg and that's easily addressed with a massage gun. It goes after a run but I felt like if I opened up the gait cycle yesterday on the long run, it, you know, let's see what happens and fingers crossed, it felt really good and the legs feel a heck of a lot better today. So I'm excited next coming week to test things out. I just said this would be a bit of a micro series. I think I'm just gonna keep it as a two-parter, road to recovery. I feel like I'm there now, ready to start light training. I've got lots of exciting things planned this week, sort of like a mini workout later on in the week. When I say mini workout, I'm talking like six to 10 minutes worth of hard work, not like a 20, 30 minute workout. So keeping it very, very um, dialed back at the moment. This week, this coming week is all about putting the feelers out there, seeing how I feel, if I'm ready to kickstart the week after into proper, proper training. So how is the calf itself? It feels great. The calf in itself is fine. I feel no discomfort or pain now. If you remember the video back earlier in the week when I was rubbing the CBD balm into the area, I was having no pain running, no pain walking, but just a slight discomfort there. That's gone now, there's nothing there, which is great. I feel like everything's fully settled. Um, so I've actually stopped putting the CBD balm on now. I've stopped everything and I'm just trying to treat it normally, kind of train my brain that I'm now back to normal and ready to go again. So that's really it in terms of the injury. The gear is interesting. I decided to go with the Nova Blast yesterday. So all week I've been using the Fuji Light 2s or the Speed 2s. Just, I know the Speed 2s have quite a nice soft midsole, but there's a nylon plate in there just to sh shore things up a bit, just to stabilize it. And I felt really comfortable running in those. And I thought, again, another test I'm gonna to have to do is go back to the Nova Blast. I was worried with the Nova Blast with the soft foam. I really felt like, like not last week, but the week before, as I was walk running, I think it aggravated things. It was a little bit too soft, uh, making everything work a little bit more in the ankle. And that just triggered the calf just a little bit. But again, pleased to say nothing came of yesterday's run. Felt great, nice and bouncy, no issues today. So I'm happy that I'm able to run in those again. Just had that week off from using the Nova Blast. And again, that's done the trick as well. So the only thing I've stuck with all week is the calf sleeve. I found using those to be really reassuring and a bit of a godsend to be honest with you. I felt like comfortable running in them. And I'm gonna carry that on this week, probably for at least the first two or three runs, no more because I need to ease off them at some point, but I feel like tomorrow and Tuesday, I'm certainly gonna try and use the calf sleeves again. Just feel like they give me that little bit of extra security, especially if I try a moderate run tomorrow. I want my calf to feel good, um, and I want it to feel secure, and I need to feel good up here when I try that run. So. We're gonna continue with the calf sleeves. So that's it in terms of gear. I've come off everything else. I'm just using the massage gun now, the foam roller. Uh, we'll talk about the strength in a second. The CBD balm is gone now and, and that's it. The calf sleeves are the only thing. So shoe rotation is back in full swing. Strength work. I mentioned in the last video, James have very kindly given me some little sets of things to do or some workouts. I'm continuing with those. I've done another two sets, two two evenings where I've done three sets of 10 reps of a variety of strength work. No core at the moment, this is all leg work, just kind of trying to shore things up, leg and glute work, um, whether that's side lunges, walking lunges with a kettlebell or with weights or with whatever I could get my hands on at the time. Um, just all of that stuff, just doing that twice a week at the moment. So I did that Saturday, Wednesday, and I did it last night as well. So feeling good, feeling happy that that is all going in the right direction. And that's it, That like, I'm just committing to a couple of times a week because I know if I try and go into a full blown plan of different, you know, doing it three or four times a week, it ain't gonna stick. I know my lifestyle at the moment. I have to take this as I'll do it when I can do it. And with these small little routines, I can just get into them. And I feel better for it already to be honest with you. I feel like that's also helping shore up my calf and my legs. I feel like everything is firing. I feel like all the runs I've done this week, I feel like my whole legs are kind of engaged, if that makes sense. I feel like my glutes are firing. Everything's working well. So that's what I'm doing in terms of strength. 
So that's going to be it for this kind of mini two-part series. Just really wanted to document my road back to running. I'm grateful that I'm able to cut this short and just have two episodes. I was planning to continue this on however long I needed to till I feel like I was ready to start full training again. And I feel like I'm pretty much there now. I'm going to take this forthcoming week, as I said, nice and lightly. I'm going to chuck in the moderate run tomorrow. I'm going to do uh, maybe one, maybe two very small light workouts. We're talking like six to ten minutes worth of intervals and maybe 10 to 20 minutes worth of like tempo work maybe even less just really really chilled out dialed workouts just kind of get into it and see how I feel and then of course hopefully a longer long run on the weekend maybe 90 minutes that'd be nice and if I feel if I can tick those boxes I'm back in business the week after so appreciate your guys support throughout this niggly injury fingers crossed over the worst of it now and I hope you guys I know so many of you reached out in the comments telling me you were injured I hope you guys can get back to full strength as soon as possible it's horrible to hear when you've got all these goals and plans and you pick up niggles and it just throws a complete spanner in the works we've got to work with it we've got to divert and we've got to do what we can to get back running as best as possible so wishing you guys the best of luck as well but that's it from me next videos you guys are going to see is all about this thing can't wait to test it out make sure you stick around hit that subscribe button give this video a like and share it with your friends and as always i will see you on the next one until then